make it quick check the degree on top versus the degree on bottom. 2 and 3. So we're good. We're good. We don't we don't need to do any division. We're going to set up the partial fractions. One term for each uh, irreducible linear. Clear fractions. So you get your x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now on the a, you're losing the x minus 1, but you're keeping the x plus 1 and the x plus 3. For the b, you're keeping x minus 1 and x plus 3. And for the C, you keep the x minus 1 and x plus 1. OK, we're going to first do the plug in the roots. Now the roots are, by the way, um, 1, minus 1, and minus 3. So if you plug in 1, you get 1 squared plus 4 plus 1 equals a times 2 times 4 plus b times 0 plus c, is that right? Yeah, times 0. Yeah, two of them go away already, so you're really in good shape. What do you got here? 6, I guess, huh? So 6 is 8a. 8a is equal to 6. So a is 6 over 8. or 3 over 4. Now we're going to do the minus 1. So we get minus 1 squared plus 4 times minus 1 plus 1. If you plug in minus 1 then this will be 0. The b term will be minus 2 here and then 2 there. And the c term will be 0. So you get, on the left, you get 2 minus 4 is minus 2. And on the right, you get minus 4b. And you deduce that b is. On half, I guess. Is that right? Uh, and then let's do it one more time. Plug in three. Negative three. Thank you. Uh, negative three. So you get um, negative three square. Four times negative three plus one. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, 9, 10, minus 12, and I get 2. Is that right? Uh, the A term goes away, the B term goes away, but the C term is, so minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4, minus 3 plus 1 minus 2. So we got negative 2 equals 8C, and from there we get C is equal to negative one-fourth. And so you could maybe circle these. Now you can go back in the original. You can now integrate this because you know 
the parts and you look up A is 3 fourth. Then you look up B is 1 half. And you look up C is negative 1 fourth. That looks much better. And how do you integrate these? Natural log. Natural log. Remember, there's only a, pl a constant that's added, so you don't even need to do a u sub. But don't tell that to your Calc 1 teacher that I said you don't need to do a u sub. You know, they. Whoa. <laughs> but it's true, and you don't need it. <laughs> So you got the 3 fourths coming out up front, and then you got ln, and never forget the absolute value, okay? You got the x minus 1 here. You got the 1 half, and then the ln, and the x plus 1. And then you got negative 1 fourth, ln, and then x plus 3, plus constant. And that solves this problem.